Thank you, Holy Heavenly Father, for the joy you have bestowed upon me until my heart is filled with happiness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my Savior. Amen. This is a prayer rooted in faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, the living word. In Marcus 11:24, Jesus said, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Thus, Jesus has strongly taught us that in prayer, we should believe that whatever we ask of the Heavenly Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we have received. Why? Because this prayer is based on the belief in faith, as stated in Marcus 11.24, which is a declaration of our faith. That's why this prayer begins with a strong statement. Thank you. Yes, thanks be to the Holy Heavenly Father. Consider this illustration to make it clearer. Every one of us, when we receive something from someone, always prompts us to say, thank you. Isn't that true? The expression of thanks will always come from our lips for a strong reason that we have received something from someone. So if we know how to express gratitude when we have received a gift from someone, how much more so when it's a gift from the Holy Heavenly Father? This is the key to prayer which becomes a statement of faith that our prayer has actually been answered by the Holy Heavenly Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, even as we pray. So, from today, pray by starting with a statement of faith that your prayer has been answered by saying, thank you first to the Holy Heavenly Father. Yes, begin with the expression of gratitude because you have received what you asked for from Him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Starting with thanksgiving in your prayer is a strong expression of faith, a proof to yourself that what you have asked for has already been received. Next, the statement, Holy Heavenly Father, aligns with the prayer, Our Father, taught by the Lord Jesus Christ to us. As for the statement, Joy, it represents what you have asked for. You can replace it with your own request. You have the right to ask anything from the Holy Heavenly Father. And the statement, so that my joy may be full, aligns with the words of Jesus in John 16, 23 to 24. Read that. Lastly, the statement, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my Savior, is because no one can come to the Father in heaven, including your prayer and mine, except through the Lord Jesus Christ. John 14, 6. This prayer is straight to the point, based on the word of faith that says, If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. John 15, 7. In other words, if our personal lives and our prayers abide or align with the word of God, where Jesus Christ is the word itself, and the words of Jesus dwell in our prayers, ask anything and it will be granted by the Holy Heavenly Father to us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen.